I remember it. Uh, I first met you in 1876. You were at that time had just been made a full professor in the high school. Yes. And uh, I also remember, I think, that you uh, gave some lectures at the Frank Institute uh, and did a considerable amount of uh, electrical invention and general work in that line while I was at the, a pupil at the high school. But I know you did, in fact. I think people will be interested in that uh, in the description of what you've done. Yes, I, I began my career of electrical development while still teaching in the high school as professor of chemistry. And I gave, on the request of the Franklin Institute, seven lectures on electricity, uh, five lectures on electricity, I should say, in 1877. And I, uh, I heard those, too. Some. Now, after that, the year <laughs> following, uh, in 1878, in conjunction with my colleague, Professor Houston, who was associated with me at that time and for some time after, in the development of electrical work, we made some tests at the Franklin Institute involving dynamos of different types that we could get at that time. And immediately after that, I designed and built a dynamo for a single arc light. And uh, that formed the basis of the uh, later development of the Thompson Houston arc light system. These events that you have described uh, briefly uh, happened, as I remember, in uh, New Britain, Connecticut. We left New Britain, Connecticut sometime in 1893. 1883. 1883. 1883. Now, uh, you kindly tell us just what uh, happened uh, between 1883 and 1892 when the... Uh, John Avery Company was formed by the consolidation of the Thompson Houston and the Edison group of companies. Yes, I'd be very glad to. It is a, it's a long story and a great deal of detail, but I'll have to cut it short. And uh, I can only say this, that the developments went on at an increased pace under the encouragement of the new management. As in, in live. In live. And that uh, during that period, we developed new types of arc lamps, the M and K Thompson, uh, Thompson Rice uh, lamp, which became a standard. Then we took up uh, incandescent lighting. We took up the alternating current transformer system, which I had outlined as far back as 1879, Franklin Institute. And we built uh, the system, but we didn't consider it safe until the development of the earthing of the secondary, which was an invention of mine, for securing safety on the secondary lines of transformer system. I remember that very well. Indeed. Then we went on from that to the development of uh, electric welding, which was a separate idea and separate in, in company was established to carry that on. Now called resistance welding, electric resistance welding. We then... That was an entirely new art. That was a new art entirely. Nothing uh, ahead of it at all. And it has reached an enormous development today. Now, uh, it, 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 the list would make a very long one to tell of the number, numerous inventions. Well, we took up the uh, electric street railway. It took up, yes, now the important thing, the very important thing that was taken up uh, before the consolidation was the development of the railway system. To do this effectually, Mr. Coffin had asked me if there was anyone in the art that had done the most work, as he thought, original, original work, in the railway, electric railway. I said, yes, there was. The man, Mr. Charles J. Vanderpool, who had done a lot of work, said to me, at least uh, Mr. Coffin said to me, can we get him? I said, why, I think so. He's in Chicago, and I think his back is a little tired. Well, we'll send on for him. The result was an interview which connected Bentley with our system, and Bentley Knight also became came into the uh, into the company as a railway engineer. Now, now uh, Vanderpool also contributed the carbon brush, which is oh about, yes, a very important matter. Very Indeed. important, very important matter. We had uh, had trouble with motors on cars. Everybody had trouble with motors on cars due to the fact that they were using metallic brushes. Vanderpool was called into conference with several of us, Mr. Rice among them, 
to find out whether there was any remedy for the troubles. And Van Bull, in the modest way, said, uh, well, I had used uh, some years ago on a motor a carbon plate, of, uh, a carbon bus. And uh, he was told, as I remember, and I think I said this myself, I'll confess, that doesn't seem very reasonable, but we must try everything. And we tried everything, but we tried the carbon brush. And the carbon brush is one of the greatest successes we ever made in the, in the electric arts. Oh, the making of the... Not right, only the for motors, the but, but, but for generators, yes. for, for uh, deep, deep generators. All coming in the All coming in the